Hey everyone, we're back. Caught lots of crappie this weekend. Can't complain about that. Lots of eaters. Uh, today's review topic is adding mixed numbers. So we've talked about QCD this year, quick common denominator, and LCD, least common denominator. Now, when I've talked to math middle school teachers in the past, They've told me that some kids strictly rely on quick common denominator, and then when they get to problems in middle school, they wish that they also knew LCD, least common denominator. So I have two examples of the same problem, and we'll solve both ways. So, when thinking about adding mixed numbers with unlike denominators, we need to find a common denominator. So QCD, you can do four times two, multiply the denominators. So our new denominator is eight. So I write two and something over eight, add three and something over eight. Now, the nice thing about QCD is we can go ahead and cross multiply to get the numerators. What that is doing is it's finding the numerator, okay? So three times two is six. We just drop that straight down. Remember, gravity drops it straight down. So what we did there is three fourths is now six eighths. These are equivalent fractions, okay? Now I can do four times one, which is four. Gravity drops it straight down. Okay, and that's my numerator over here. And of course, one half is four eighths. Now that my denominators are the same, I can go ahead, combine my whole numbers, two add three, and that's five. And then 6 eighths add 4 eighths is 10 eighths. Remember what I like to say, when adding and subtracting fractions and the denominators are the same, leave them alone. Do not be that kid that makes that 16. Now, this is not simplified, okay? I've got to get this to be a regular fraction, not a fraction greater than 1, an improper fraction. So I can trade in one group of eight and make this six. And then 10 subtract eight is two. And then my denominator is eight. And then I can go ahead and simplify. I'm going to go ahead and copy the six down. But then I can go ahead and simplify two eights by dividing by two over two. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this gives us 6 and 1 fourths. So let's come over here and look at it with LCD now. So least common denominator, it's also the least common multiple for both numbers. In this case, if I count by 2s, 2, 4, I will hear 4. Now, what I like about LCD is when you count by this number and hear that one, you immediately know one of the mixed numbers. This is currently still 2 and 3 fourths. Now, you do not cross multiply like we've talked about with LCD. But you come up here, make your multiplication symbol, and you go 2 times what is 4. And go ahead and say it. That's right. What you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. Hey, you multiplied me by two. Are you going to multiply me by two? Sure. Don't worry, one. So now I combine my whole numbers. That's five. And then I have three-fourths plus two-fourths, which is five-fourths. And then I can go ahead and simplify this and change that into six and one fourth. Don't forget, okay? If you love QCD, you love LCD, you should really know 
both methods. That's extremely important because one time QCD is going to be really easy. Another time you're going to wish that you did LCD. You're going to find out what I'm talking about when you get to sixth grade eventually, okay? All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and upload the practice problems.